Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and this is a video review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Shockwave. And he's actually okay. Um, Generations one, way, way better. Um, although this guy's size is pretty good. I, I would like the Generations one in this size. Um, so he's got on like these weird H treads with uh, wheels in the front. Yeah, kind of strange. Anyway, doesn't roll particularly well. He does have a cannon, no missile, which doesn't bother me. If you um, like press this in, you got more cannons that fold out. And because it's um, the Voyager size, you can actually lock them into place. This is the only mech. This is one of the only mech tech weapons I actually uh, display on the guy because it's such an intricate part of him, and it actually works and it looks legit to the movie. So anyway, um, he has a Decepticon logo here, and I think that's it. Anyway, so it's pretty much it. I don't think he actually used this in the movie at all. Um, he does have a, a ton of clip system ports throughout both robot and vehicle form, both on his mech tech weapon and on his secondary weapon here. Uh, in his arms, here, the sides, on this gun. Yeah, it's all over the, they're all over the place. So you can clip, you can really clip a lot of weapons to this guy if you really wanted to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and transform this guy and talk about him some more and uh, hopefully provide you some information. Here he is in robot mode and one of my most wanted to know questions is did anybody ask Michael Bay if he knew the cannon was on the wrong arm? I mean yes, the toy is accurate. But it would have been nice for Hasbro to design it so it could fit on either arm. Unfortunately, if I take this off, the arm design is slightly different from each other, allowing you only to be able to clip it on fully on this arm. That's unfortunate, but the truth. Um, the mech tech weapon. The mech tech weapon can actually be used on other transformers, and you can uh, attach other mech tech weapons to it. That's kind of the whole point of mech tech. Not a fan of the rib cage design on this guy, but again, that's more of the movie design, not the toy. Um, it comes with this, which is kind of unique. I don't usually display this on This is usually in a box. I just happen to have it out for a different purpose, and I grabbed it off my uh, desk on my way out this evening. Yesterday. Yesterday evening. Wow. Um, so he's got uh, some nice posability for being a movie toy. Um, you know, he's got his knee, double hinge knee, so you got a lot of movement there. Uh, he's got some movement in the foot, although not like a super ton. He's got a swivel up by the hip, um, also a ratchet. Mm, much harder ratchet. No waist swivel, um, head swivel with uh, some really nice light piping actually Lord Megatron I am bored can you tell um, bored and tired so um, they designed it so you can have the hand out or in when it's you know in this mode um, yeah the cannons on the right the correct arm as far as the toy goes um, as far as the movie. However, it should be on the other arm for G1 accuracy. I mean, really. I, I'm a little bit angry that Hasbro didn't design this, this to fit on both arms. I mean, really, what are you going to do? It's just where the peg hole is on this one. Um, some people have actually, like, figured out how to remove the hand, put it on the and then swap the arms so you can have the cannon on the other side. I'm just not willing to go and tear it apart just for that. I think it's fine the way it is. Yeah, it's not the right, it's not on the correct side, but 
it'll it'll do. Um, so up here we have this motion. Kind of, he's kind of got the Starscream vibe of the whole wide shoulders thing. Swivel. Um, that his hand moves a little bit, and he suffers from the movie hands again with the three fingers and the thumb. I'm not a real fan of that, but it is what it is. Um, and he's got this nice rubber cable that moves as he moves. Um, it does kind of get in the way a little bit of postability, where it starts springing back and stuff. I don't think I, before I killed this guy, I'm not sure if I did a lot of fighting with him in my stop motion series, but I know you like put a hurting on Magnus. Uh, you can get him in some nice poses. I like him. He was a stand-in for a Classics guy, and I was going to actually put the Generations guy in his place, but the Generations one is so tiny compared to the rest of my Generations guys that he looks like a joke. So I put him down with the other Fall of Cybertron characters and this guy back where he was. Um, so this guy is still a stand-in. I like to see a taller shockwave at some point. Well, about the size, kind of more for Cybertron style. Um, so that pretty much concludes my video review of Shockwave. If you have any questions about the um, action figure, please post a comment down below and I will answer your question. If you have any requests for video reviews, post a comment down below or shoot me a message. And I'll be uh, glad to do those reviews for you. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And uh, thanks for watching.